Hi there, this is Suja, and today we're going to be talking about Cliff High and specifically his uh, newly released uh, reports from 2015 to 2016, which sort of forecast the things to come in these next couple of crazy years. Um, so I've been following Cliff since I was a wee lad, <laughs> um, since uh, 10 years ago, I think now. Actually, this would be the year 12 or 11 or 12. So it's, it's been a while since I've been following Cliff. At the time, I was buying these reports because, honestly, I liked reading woo woo stuff and it seemed really interesting. And you know, I like I like crazy viewpoints. And Cliff High has not only a crazy viewpoint, but he has like a unique viewpoint, which is being validated every single day. So <laughs> um, that's how I came across uh, Cliff High's work. You know, reading weird stuff, and so naturally you run into him. Eventually, you do. And once you do, it's like, okay, there's no going back because <laughs> the bald bastard is really good with uh, his uh, grounded woo-woo is what I would call it because he can he can uh, point out certain facts to where it's like, oh, okay, it's not overly up in the clouds, but it can happen in these specific pathways in this specific way. And so, you know, it's more, I guess, believable. But, you know, it doesn't have to be believable. It becomes fact once, you know, you live through these reports. <laughs> as these events come into into existence and manifest. One thing I want to say is uh, all these events, my, my supposition is all these events are true and they're going to happen. It's just the timing is untrue in the sense that uh, when dealing with future forecasts, timing is always a female dog. And generally it's true for, it looks like it's true for Cliff Eye, which means it's true for pretty much everyone else <laughs> and every other method. So timing is the issue. So while it says, you know, in the reports 2016, uh, really it's going to be, I think, this year or next year that you're going to start uh, seeing it. So without further ado, let's start. So Space Court Farts is what I'm going to focus on on this video. And if there's any other videos, I'm just going to focus on this segment because it's my favorite segment of all of the segments in his report. It's just really cool. So let's start with uh, how it came to be. So... In 2003, at the formation of the Space Court Farce entity, due to the need to house many unknown and officially denied references, we encountered, as one of the very first forecasts, a group of linguistics going to the idea of quote-unquote disappearing slash vanishing people. So I'm just going to highlight this yellow. That's our topic one. So these people are described as being video captured, which is awesome, um, as they quote-unquote disappeared. Okay, so these sets continue to grow over the inter uh, intervening years, and now we're showing immediacy data accruing to these same sets in the volume. Uh, these new sets are continuations of many of the previous descriptors with new detail layers uh, being added. The data are showing that many new videos are going to be appearing uh, that will be labeled as demonstrating slash showing, quote unquote, the manifestation of unseen forces. So this is the force wave phenomena that's supposed to hit. Again, the timing is, is the thing that I don't agree with. Timing is always, like I said, a female dog. But generally, this is in your future. It's going to get weird. <laughs> so uh, these are going to include involuntary levitation at first label as a hoax. Because at any given time, at any given population, you're going to have a, a group of people that are going to be in that club of it's a hoax and exploding stone slash bricks, which would be kind of interesting, and floating in midair fire. Okay, getting way more interesting now, as well as a number of instances of vanishing people. So initially, um, both to initially to be both denied and unknown, as well as labeled as hoax, the data sets are showing that a wave of concern will sweep around the globe. So this is a global concern. This is going to happen all over the planet. As a number of people vanishing amidst them in public places starts to reach into the hundreds. Okay, so we have a number two. <sighs> now, to be clear, the language around the disappearance shows vanishing in misstep is occurring when all these people go missing. This does not mean we will actually see people in videos vanishing. There may be indeed an instance of that occurring, but the data is discussing thousands of people going missing from countries all around the planet. These individuals will be discussed by those who are reporting their disappearances as vanishing without a trace. I wonder if the COVID-19 CCP virus that we're in right now 
is actually a causal factor for that, or maybe a, a sub factor, as well as vanishing in mid step. So, so this last may be more descriptive emotionally than factual. The data sets are quite clear that thousands of people will go missing over 2016. Again, the date, the, the timing, I disagree with the events I think are going to manifest at some point in time. Timing, my friend is a female dog. All it is, it's not 2016. It's probably gonna be 20, uh, 2020 or 2022 or somewhere around that area, I think. In a wave that is atypical or unusual. The numbers may even reach into the tens of thousands. So remember, it may even reach. We don't know yet. However, there are not linguistical structures in the data to support the idea of thousands of videos of people disappearing. So, you know, you may not have thousands of people uh, or thousands of videos of people disappearing, but you may actually have the, or this is my interpretation, obviously, you may actually have the uh, number being roughly in the thousands, but you'll, you won't be seeing thousands of videos. Other effects to be caught on video include various forms of objects either exploding or imploding, which is awesome. So we're gonna say, I'm gonna green this. In one of the sets are descriptions for implosions of mailboxes and shipping containers, trucks and boats, as well as thousands of smaller things like cameras, bottles, which used to be, which used to have wine and various kind of containers. So here we go. The idea coming across from the very uh, many detail sets is that the contents of various kinds of cans and other sealed containers will also quote unquote vanish. Ooh, interesting. And leave behind a mild vacuum. Let's go with blue here, which is the actual cause of the implosion. Huh, interesting. The data sets also hold uh, sets that suggest alternative researchers will connect the disappearances to force waves. This is my favorite sentence in this entire report. So they're gonna connect the disappearance to force waves that will be sweeping the planet. This is a planetary thing. This development will not be a good thing for calm as it will go viral and cause global panic due to seemingly random nature of these force waves. So this is going to cause some emotional disturbances. This phenomenon is showing as being uh, effect, so effective of the social order, both the disappearances and the result, resulting verbiage that several governments devote resources to investigating this. Huh, okay, neato. So you're gonna have government investigating these force waves and disappearances. Okay. This creates its own form of knock-on problem in that the official recognition of widely reported such video phenomena brings in the larger denier population or portion of the population to the meme and they will promptly freak out and act badly. And that's expected in the sense that there's always gonna be a denier class and they're always, well, not, maybe not always, but they will probably act badly once the official um, re uh, recognizes it. By official, I mean governmental entities. The data sets are showing that some sort of evidence of force waves within the videos will also show hidden objects slash life involved. So that's cool. This layer to be discovered later in the phenomena will add its own global rep repercussions. Both the fake alien invasion and war of interdimensions caused by the LHC, which is the Large Hadron Collider uh, memes will be present in the subsequent debates. Many of the interdimension language sets are supporting positions to the alien wars meme from the long-term data sets. So it's gonna be interesting because now you're gonna have, <laughs> as these things are happening, people are gonna say, oh, okay, there's, there's interdimensional aliens or it's caused by a large Hadron Collider, at least, again, my interpretation as I'm reading this. Your interpretation may be different and if it is, make a video, share it with everybody so we understand what you're interpreting this as. And Cliff High, if, you, if you're watching, if I get anything wrong in my interpretation, feel free to, you know, uh, come in and Mr. Miyagi this <laughs> and, and tell me where I'm going incorrect. So the new supporting sets include faces of interdimensional aliens being seen and perhaps video captured. Dude, that's gonna be epic. And other sets going to the idea of face-to-face -face exposure. Um, okay. Further sets also include language going to mental unbalance slash disconnect and insane behavior as a result of con contact and skewed perceptions after contact equals still being able to see between dimensions. So the people that are getting contacted or people who can see these faces and have this sort of interdimensional viewpoint now, 
you know, they're going to freak the hell out. Because, I mean, you know, if you ever saw an interdimensional ghost or alien or whatever, you probably freak out. Your first your first uh, line of defense mentally is denial <laughs> and freaking the hell out. So um, that's, uh, that's, that's, I think that's a given, right? I'm also thinking about, you know, the starseed movement and all these people who are light workers and, you know, the ascension crowd. I wonder how they'll react. Because these people will probably be like, oh, these are astral entities or these are etheric entities or they're going to have a, a various or a, a different framework to understand and give meaning to these phenomena. But the but by the by the looks of this report, those people are not going to be the ones seeing this. We're only hearing about the normies who will see it and become mentally unbalanced and, you know, and have insane behavior as a result of this contact. Other sets within this area include descriptions from invisible forces and invisible holes and invisible walls. Uh, huh. Okay, cool. All of which are going to cause problems for humans over the next few years. All right. I'm not entirely sure how invisible holes and invisible walls are going to be problems, but hey, I'll know when I get there. Other supporting sets within the alien wars. I love that word, alien wars. Subsets suggest that the rapid rise of moles, ah, fung fungal, weird moles are generally, the fungal, funguses are generally like, in my mind, associated with uh, psychedelics and, and like, uh, you know, enlightenment and also death because, you know, bad funguses will cause death. Anyways, the rapid rise of moles will be seen, viewed, slash spoken of as alien weaponry. Interesting. Now that we have the COVID-19 thing, I wonder if, you know, certain amount of the population that do survive will actually have um, the mold. Maybe not. Maybe this these moles will be more towards electronics. But let's see here. They're supporting sets for the idea that moles will be viewed with alarm by many in the military industries as many new failures will be able to be traced to the onset of moles in, in, in the equipment. So this is this is really from the from what I'm reading here. This is more for equipment and not for body parts, but okay. Uh, some of the military discussions about the subject is showing as leaking out part of the secrets revealed metadata layer. There we go. So basically alien wars, rapid rise of moles are gonna lead to <laughs> equipment failures, which is gonna lead to secrets revealed, or it's gonna be a part of the secret reveals uh, conditions that are going to arise and causing a flurry of panic on the internet due to an unknown incident that will temporarily uh, close to the leak of mold language. So they're gonna try to close the leak of mold language. Okay. The mold as a space alien weapon meme is but part of a set that goes to the idea that space alien weapons that are being used to soften up the earth for invasion. <sighs> Get off my planet aliens. Too old for your invasion crap. Okay, so these rumors of space alien wars and bizarre weapons, which COVID-19 is not a bizarre weapon, it's a bioweapon in my opinion as well, are going to, the, uh, going to be wider than mere mold. Okay, so the mold aspect is just, I guess in, in the report, it's just uh, placed within the military context. Okay. The data sets are going to the idea of a rising amount of language about the question of are we Earth being invaded from space. The data sets are suggesting that this question is going to arise spontaneously from within global population. Global pop is global population in several different spots around the planet. So, you know, everybody's going to be thinking this specific problem, you know, or sorry, the specific question. The presumption showing within global pop entities that there is evidence, quote unquote, that the answer to this question is yes. Aha, so we are not alone. Neat. I, for one, welcome our alien mold uh, <laughs> emissaries. <laughs> JK, JK. Uh, this is not good. Again, my idea is these things are going to manifest at some time. Um, and, you know, this was predicted in 2015. So one of the suppositions of Cliff's work, the supposition that Cliff made, and I'm merely repeating, is... Um, the longer it takes to manifest, the higher the impact on the social order in terms of, I think, the emotions, but which also means in terms of actual 
I want to say damage, but the actual impact of the of the thing. It may not be damaging in the sense that it could be something you you know utopic. You know, we discover space flight, and uh, hypothetically, that's not in the report right now. But hypothetically, we discover space flight, and it's going to be a really cool idea, and it'll be it'll be impactful and so on. But it's going to have it's a positive impact versus like a negative impact. So this to me, all this is in one sense negative impact, but also positive on a on a personal level because. If we can get like an official dumb recognition of UFOs, like we did with the uh, with the recently released videos from from the Navy, then yeah, all right. Anyways, these sets gain new supporting subsets that include war and space alien attack and disappearances of people and strangers, which strangeness, which will include many instances of official denying that anything is going on. So obviously, you know, if you're one of the upper official dumb people, you're not gonna want your population panicked. It's hard to rule over a panicked population, hard to control their minds. These denials and incenti- uh, intensity of the denial will themselves become the focus of anxiety. <laughs> Okay, it's funny because, you know, people are going to freak out just because there's denials over these things. That's, to me, it's funny. The data sets are also growing uh, supporting sets for the idea that the denials from one country will be emotion producing in other countries. Interesting. In other words, the idea is that the denial of ongoing space war from NASA as a hypothetical instance would cause the population in other countries to question their own authorities in this global escalation of the meme. <laughs> so, you know, certain countries are going to be like quiet. And then, you you know, the NASA people hypothetically say, OK, no aliens, guys. And then the people in those other countries that are quiet, like, hey, look, at least this country is saying something. Why aren't we you saying anything? Basically, that's what I am getting from this. Some of the new supporting sets contain yet more references to stop falling to Earth. OK. So stuff falling to earth in these new instances, as in the previous, uh, previously forecast and not fulfilled material from space falls to earth repeatedly, where we saw multiple spears crashing to earth over a few days and within a reasonably small area. We now yet again have more data sets going to the idea of crashing materials causing problems for humans. These crashing materials are described as including satellite bodies. Okay, so satellites are gonna crash. Not all of the material will be able to be identified, however. Okay. The data sets are pointing, uh, data sets point to authority slash official, official them reacting badly. Of course they do. To these incidents of space debris and swooping down to snatch up materials from a variety of places. Okay. Data sets indicate that videos will be available af- uh, afterwards of the seizure of debris. Ah, okay. I want to see those videos. The data sets are also showing that the debris falling will include biological and at least one group of debris within a field will include remains of a burnt wep- or remains of burnt weapons with an S. Uh, okay. Other sets would seem to indicate that the non-human presumed materials will be claimed in the salvage debris. These sets are showing that the official dumb is going to be very angry and something of a car chase drama will ensue. So somebody's probably gonna steal it and then they're gonna chase them down. <laughs> Least that's what I'm thinking in my mind. All right, you wanna you wanna steal some space alien stuff? Be my guest. Actually, no. You know, I'm not encouraging anyone to steal space alien stuff. I'm just saying, like, as a joke. The space alien war sets contain cross links such that it would seem that the forecast is for the hallucinations from the moles will become associated with space alien wars meme over time. Ah, so the mold will cause hallucinations. Okay, so it does have a biological effect. All right, this is somehow to prove to be not a good thing for the power elites as the data sets are indicating something of a propaganda pushback against the idea that will include excessive use of the mainstream media. Ah, it's gonna have mainstream attraction, okay. The Space Good Farts Entities is forecasting that the rise of the hidden space alien war meme giggity, uh, will cause a side effect in that the issue of global geoengineering will rise to higher level of consciousness within global population, global pop. These sets are suggesting that yet another upcoming side effect uh, will see a very large decrease in the ability to spray chemtrails. So as this is happening, as you got space aliens disappearing people and imploding and exploding objects, 
so we you know we see a decrease in the ability to spread chemicals up in the air which actually we kind of do see with the covid 19 thing because i mean you know air travel is pretty much grinding to a halt now i think american airline is going to at the, at the time of the recording is going to either have uh, declared bankruptcy or are in the process of or it looks like that um, the reasons are not going to be discussed until after the manifestation of the change for reasons that will become obvious at the time. Okay, so we'll know when we see it. A large fire in an underground secret facility. Ah, okay. Nito is showing as revealing to local population, so the locals who live above this underground facility, that the base is beneath their feet. This apparently will come as a something of a shock. Uh, to both the locals and the internet alternative media as this hidden urban base was both, okay, totally secret and so so huge. Uh, okay. The shorter term stats are showing that sometimes in late 2016, again, timing is a female dog. This is not accurate in my opinion. These, I, these events, in my opinion, will occur, but not at this specific time frame. The location and time of these uh, events are incorrect in my opinion in late 2016 i would say again maybe 2020 maybe 2022 whatever it's going to be in i think it'll be in this decade in late uh whatever the time is an expedition will be undertaken uh into the structures that will bring back video of the devastation oh somebody's gonna go down there okay this fire is a temporal marker and several sets for both secret surreal metadata layer and for the fulfillment of very long-term sets about the Exposure of the breakaway civilization. Okay, so that's something we have to really look forward to because temporal markers are very important in his work or in this work, but this is his specific work. A great many of the new sets within the space good farts entity are going to the space alien wars and a majority of uh, those now have rising visibility sums indicating that the linguistics are going to be manifesting into our developing reality relatively soon. The rise in the visibility sums for many of these longer term values within these sets are likely forecasting that the previous alter reports, asymmet asymmetrical linguistical, uh, let me just go back up here, it actually says it here. These things are called asymmetrical linguistical trends analysis report. I think these are now called, uh, or there's a there is a uh, specific phrase, uh, Cliff said it was predictive linguistics, which also in the stock and crypto markets are now used as a as a sentiment analysis tool, but not to the extent that Cliff did it. Um, in the sense that Cliff had a had a better system and he understood things that uh, most people, his competitors, probably don't. At least yet. Eventually, I think we'll reach an understanding of this, but not sure when. Okay, all right, Space Alien Wars, okay, new, so previous asymmetrical linguistical trends analysis reports, details along these lines will now be manifesting into the media, new uh, sets, growth, and model space accretion patterns are suggesting that Space Alien Wars will be a constant store, source of new memes throughout at least 2022. Ah, okay, so supposing this is three years off, you know, so this is going to be 2020, uh, 2020, uh, 2026, I would say, if this is three to four years off. Okay. And if this manifests this year. Um, okay. Other forms of new in-media memes are showing, including cancer cluster of some sort around many of the world's most famous bankers. Interesting. So the banking elite class are going to get cancer. Okay. The meme is already showing up and is now in, uh, indicated to grow into something of a phenomena as one after another of the famous banksters show up on the media as hollowed out by cancer. They could totally do um, mushrooms to deal with that, but they probably won't. <laughs> They're banksters. They don't look into this woo-woo stuff. Uh, if only they had Cliff Hyde's viewpoint. Actually, if they did, they probably have a different career than being a bankster. But anyways. This meme is further reinforced as it will be pushed down onto the trading communities globally as more and more of the foot soldiers in the global banking slash financial system shows up as cancer victims. Ouch. I feel bad for these human beings, you know. Call them whatever you want, and I'm, I'm aware of the bank banks are really class, but still, they're humans. Feel for those guys. The data sets are showing that the meme will be will get traction 
on the net to the extent that banksters, wives slash children will run into the meme and be forced to take a look slash examine their own situation only to discover that the trading slash financial communities. Okay, let me just highlight that just for fun. Are something of a cancer magnet. Huh, I wonder why. These sets uh, show that this discovery and subsequent global conversation will have far reaching and long lasting effects on humans as new thought develops from these correlations. Interesting, cool. All right, so the so the summarize, we're gonna have disappearing people, we're gonna have um, people, uh, or we're gonna have force waves that basically destroy stuff. We're gonna have some sort of interdimensional face-to-face -face contact on sort of an individual level that'll take a trend where people will discuss it online and these people are gonna freak the hell out, which is understandable. <laughs> If you're somehow seeing between dimensions without, you know, proper meditative training, you know, if you meditatively train yourself, you probably could handle it. Um, I've heard in, in, uh, astral projections, I had a body experience circles that, um, you could, once you have your third eye activity, you can see the dimensions. You don't need to be, you don't need to be in that state anymore. It just becomes a part of you. But again, your pineal gland and your, all of those things. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure yet. At least I have not experienced that. So you know, fire floating in midair, vanishing people, you know, force waves, uh, lots of other things are showing up. Fun time to be alive, guys. It's gonna get super weird. Alien wars, secret reveals, what else do we have? Mold, <laughs> mold, uh, stuff falling to earth, crashing materials, uh, again, space alien wars, uh, hallucinations from the mold contaminations, and then the rise of the space, hidden space alien wars, and of course, cancers in the bankster elite class, in the bankster's foot soldier class, not the elite class, sorry, the foot soldier class. Anyways, so that's the space quote uh, farts report from April, sorry, December 2015. It's right here if you want to see. And I've highlighted some stuff because highlighting is fun and it gives me something to do while I'm talking to a microphone. Um, <laughs> All of this is, by the way, uh, free on Cliff's website. You can go and download the zip and uh, look for yourself. So it's better that you do look for yourself rather than me linking it to you. I could upload this and link it to you, but there's no point. You, you have the video. But these, this is going to be some fun years. Involuntary levitation, I can't wait for that. That seems so much fun. But, you know, challenging times ahead, but weird times ahead. I'm going to do uh, another one of these videos on the next... Um, Report. So I'm going to try to just do one at a time and see how we go. But this is the first one. Hopefully you guys like it. If you do, leave a comment, thumbs up, like, share the video as much as you want. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.